Hallo zusammen, hello everybody. Everything good? No DJ set today, only a little bit of music from the studio. Some ideas I've been working on, some ideas I've been working on together with Thomas. So there we go, <laughs> actually completely new for myself now to do it this way, so be patient with me please. Um, I'm still <laughs> trying to understand what I'm, was understand what I'm doing here. Uh, it took me a lot of time to kind of set it up uh, from the DJ uh, 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 area to the studio area and uh, so that's the reason why I'm incredibly unprepared. <laughs> And, um, you know, I, I'd like to communicate with you guys. And um, the best way is, uh, the, basically the only way to communicate is via the chat. The problem is the chat function is real time. And um, the microphone and the whole video thing, audio and video is half a minute delayed. So if you guys have questions, just type it in and I will answer either immediately via the chat function or I'm going to answer via talking to you. So, um, first of all, I want to tell you that tomorrow at 5 p.m., I think, I'll do the next um, DJ streaming, 5 p.m. Central European time. And um, as a matter of fact, there going to be a lot of live streamings tomorrow night. I think the... Um, The biggest one I've seen was uh, from from Beatport. They're gonna do like a 24-hour live stream session with so many names I don't even remember. And um, and obviously there's another United We Stream uh, streaming from Rita Butzke here in Berlin. And uh, so I thought like I'm gonna do the warm-up for all of them. So that's the reason why I start at five and I will go until I don't know yet, maybe eight, nine. Let's see. Depends on you guys, obviously. <laughs> um, then, yeah, qu one quick info to Thomas. Thomas is still in New Zealand. Uh, we had a video call yesterday. Uh, he was calling me with uh, Marilinda, his wife, and the two kids. And we were talking with my wife and myself. And um, they are doing good. They are still stuck there, basically. They have a complete lockdown since, yeah, yesterday, basically. Today is Thursday, yeah, yesterday. They've shut down everything in New Zealand, and it's a very strict lockdown. They, if, even if they want to go for shopping, grocery shopping, they have to get on a list, so they are allowed to go out. And, um, yeah, so we are trying, or we are hoping he, he can come back as soon as possible, and then we hope we can do this together here. And um, just keep on doing this as a solution for now. Um, concerning the situation right now, I mean, you guys know everything from the news. It's for me, I'm retired today because I watch too much news. 
and it really whew, it's heavy it's really fucking heavy and um even the uh, that's why i'm grateful to be able to do that here because then i'm distracted and i can think about something else and uh so oh there's a nice question like how often do i go to the mercedes-benz stadium outside my studio i've been there once and my studio i got the studio here for the last eight years um the whole studio complex is called riverside studios um I'm one of the founders, uh, together with Martin Ira and Jade Seward, and we three built this studio place with uh, 27 studios all in all. One is my studio, one is uh, Martin's studio, and then we have many, many other tenants and, and musicians, producers who have the studios here. And um, Oh, there are so many questions. All right. Um, I actually just wanted to show you one track I'm working on for the last month basically i started it on the plane and um uh, then brought it back to the studio here uh, and i really like the idea right now so i'm gonna show you after i answered some more questions uh, uh, thank you very much for the uh, shelter uh, in the shelter the compliment for shelter in amsterdam thank you and um, what i think about awakenings 2020 to be honest my uh, thoughts about this summer season about parties and festivals to be honest let's skip it there's not a big chance that it's gonna happen and we just have to get along with it it's a fact you know you guys see what's all happening out there it started all in China, it came over via Iran and then Italy and Europe and now America, like uh, the United States and so many countries are having difficulties and I think we should kind of be able to get along with this situation. However, this way of getting along with it is, this is more important now to fix it somehow and uh, find a a way to do it so let's not think about the summer season let's uh, look forward to as soon as possible we are able to go to a club or a festival again until then we are gonna be as disciplined and as strong and as quiet in a, in a social way as possible I would say uh, Favorite monitor speakers, good question, Oof, so many out there. I have um, actually two main uh, listening situations here. I have a Dyn Audio BM6 speakers with a 10-inch sub from Dyn Audio and uh, it's hard. I, it's like, and I go actually for next time I'm going to do a little video because right now everything, the camera instances are fixed. But I will take a little video for you guys so you can see what's actually in here and um, to make it a little bit more flexible. But the other um, listening situation is um, Adam Audio S3XH, I think, with a 12-inch sub. And that's basically the, the listening situation if you want to really have it loud and uh, have the club feeling. So... Yeah, production feeling more with the Dyn, Dyn Audios and club feeling more with the Adams. Um, some tricks for the studio, yeah. I mean, like, I it's... Uh, first of all, in general, like I, how I work. I work with uh, Ableton Live. I'm going to show you my screen. One second. Yeah, that's a very simple session, but that's the session, like one of the tracks I'm working on right now. So you can see there is not a lot in there. Um, I will s uh, play it in a second. I ch you guys are asking so much. It's good. I like it. Um, oh, Pampot is the best DJ duo at history. I don't know. Thank you very much. If you think so, I am i don't know. We're just, we're just two guys. And... Um, Wow, okay. Um, 
yeah, uh, I think th you know I'm I'm uh, getting along with the live streaming. So probably after all of this, uh, I'm gonna stick to it. I really like it, and it's a good way to communicate with you guys and be able to, yeah, have uh, a more intimate way of um, interacting with each other. Um, virtual reality solution for live streams. I just started with live streaming, so um, as soon as I'm turning into a live streaming pro, I will definitely take care of that. Uh, thank you very much for the compliment of my German accent. <laughs> I know, heard about that before. Um, so, which MIDI controller I use for keys? Uh, I have um, I have a little one for on the road. It's an Ovation one. It's like a two octave one with some MIDI controls on it, which is really perfect for traveling. Here in the studio, we have actually <laughs> it's a great sponsorship from Native Instruments. We have the I don't even know the name of it. Um, uh, yeah, it's the the full the full range piano actually from the full range MIDI controller from Native Instruments. And um, some Akai and stuff, and uh, yep, too many, definitely. There's like so many controllers here. The, the point is, because this studio, basically it's my, it's my studio, I'm sharing with Oli, um, a good friend of mine, a great musician, great engineer, uh, and he's doing a lot of uh, jobs in here. So there are so many different um, kinds of how you can use the studio. And as a matter of fact, I'm not really having too much time to spend a lot of time on making music in here. Uh, I'm quite a boon in here and um, I'm very reduced to <laughs> the, the ways how I work in here. Um, but we, we're going to do another episode about the equipment in the studio. What do you think about this, guys? Um, Oh, good question. What do you think about less is more, especially speciality speciality of sounds in stereo field using few sounds but evolving these sounds through the track? Absolutely. That's like basically the idea of minimal techno. You know, you just have some little few sounds and, and you create the track by modulation. And um, that's basically how it was a big change for me to uh, get away from the typical studio production surrounding from here to my laptop in the plane and reduce everything to the the, the minimum yeah that's the that's the like the reason why i also started um working a lot with samples and loops so i bought a lot of um, sample libraries and and i think that's the big fun about working with audio material is with live because you can really fuck around with the with audio material there it's amazing and um, it's you, you also have an amazing workflow because you get easy uh, easy great results which I love you know if you don't have a lot of time building your own sample libraries and uh, sampler kits and stuff then this is the perfect way to work with a lot of samples um, so which techno artist would you like to work with in 2020? Um, I can tell you like some of my favorites right now and um, I'm advertising <laughs> Second State right now. I don't know if you saw the the broadcast with Rocco Garoni and if you listened to the last releases from um, Michael Klein, these guys are really fucking killing it right now, in my opinion. Beck started her own label, Rebecca. Beck. Uh, amazing music. So uh, I think we will focus on working with these people um, a lot now. Yes. Yes, Yuri Basile is... Bas how, do you, how do you pronounce Bazille? Yeah, it's amazing. They are all sounding great, actually. 
you know, uh, it's it's it doesn't make sense to to argue about uh, which synthesizer sounds better. There's always like it's a question of taste, first of all, and uh, second, uh, every you know, th there's always a reason why you use a certain synthesizer. So it's about the sound. Some synthesizers sound, some uh, emulations sound really great and fat, like almost like analog almost uh, but it doesn't make sense to use it because it doesn't fit into the mix so uh, all this question of taste uh, if there will be more releases from second state due to this situation um, there is an email for sending tracks I think it's demo at uh, second state dot net uh, but just check out the website you're going to find it there Um I think we will not pitch up our release schedule. I think we will stick to the to the usual uh, release format. I think every three weeks, um, and uh, yeah. So, but we will definitely do more music for ourselves again as soon as we kind of reduce time for the live streaming setup as soon as everything is kind of set up and we just have to play uh, press play you know then i'm also gonna have more time again to produce music um hi from turkey hi from berlin thank you very much that you love our taste i like to hear that yeah so far everybody who joined the um berlin pan pod Berlin studio broadcast session <laughs> that's a long name um, did an amazing job actually from the guys boys Rocco Garoni Marcel Fengler was amazing um, the reason why I'm doing it, like, why I'm gonna do it uh, alone tomorrow is because of the um, authorities above because of the rules because of social distancing and um uh, I think that just makes sense like that to do it like this right now. I hope that's okay for you guys. And um, yeah, maybe I'm just gonna play this track for once and then we can talk about it or at least you can write about it. All right, let me check if everything works. Yeah, should be fine. Give me a thumbs up in the chat if you can hear it properly, please.
So, 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 there we go, 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 go. So that's the one of the ideas I'm working on at the moment. Uh, there were some questions. Um, thank you, first of all, that you like it. It's basically just a rough idea. You can see we have like uh, about four and a half minutes. Uh, so basically it's a loop I kind of stretched up to this time. And uh, I think the most important of this track is this sample. It's a sample, um, this hook line thing I found in the sample library. And uh, I have to tell you, I just like it as it is. I didn't do anything with it. Let me check. No, nothing so far. But the track is not finished yet anyway, so there is still stuff to do with this hook line. But I like it because it's there's no timing on it, not really. And it's just like, I didn't edit anything on it. It just fitted in it, you know? And um, so that's basically what I think is the main part of the track. Um, kick is a sample kick it's a uh, I don't know which collection it is Riemann maybe from Florian Meindl I don't know uh, it's basically I think a loop no I already stretched away one second Yeah, so that's the full, basically the full loop, and I just took the first kick plus the little hi hat on it, yep. so then uh, on the kick there is a little bit of a reverb, you know, I always, I mostly take, for stuff like that, I take the, um, I take, one second, I also have to follow your um your chat messages um a little bit of the the internal uh, reverb of reverb of uh, ableton live um i really use a lot of um plugins from live because i like how easy and and uh, um cpu simple they work and uh, most of them sound great and are really just do their job amazingly. So uh, some reverb on it, uh, a little bit of compression. And I didn't want to do like this kind of typical um, reverb, like kick drum reverb bass line thing. It's just like kind of giving a little bit of room to the, to the kick so it's not too dry, which I like in this case. Then something... Uh, Oh, so one question, did you find it difficult to learn to use Ableton? Um, I come from Logic and Cubase um, and I started with Logic 5.1, so um, years, years ago, years ago, and then on Cubase and compared to these sequencer softwares, um, Ableton Live is easy. If you want to really um, dive into it deeply you can also lose yourself in it definitely so but I think it's a very effective uh, software who teach you to use Ableton I taught myself actually but you know I think if you learned how to use Logic and, and Cubase and some other softwares, uh, software applications. Um, Ableton Live is quite easy to learn. Um, quickly to the bass. And that's something I can recommend you is this plugin. Uh, okay, it's again at the other side. Ah, there you go. This is my one oh, uh, update is available no thank you um this is uh, it's, it's, called, it's from sonic charge microtonic and i'm using thomas and myself we're using this for uh, this plugin for i uh, don't let me lie <sighs> 10 years and we almost use it in every production and you can do it's it's a very simple noisy cheap sounding um drum computer noise engine um uh, but you can use it in so many different ways for drums for noisy drums for hi-hats i usually 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 always use it for hi-hats like fast hi-hats 
noise floors and also for bass lines if you want to do some kind of um, resonating bass lines and that's what I did here. So it's basically just a 16 bar um, uh, loop, some accent, accents on, the, uh, on this note here and on this note here and full decay and then some EQing on it. I put the echo which I love from Ableton Live on it. So it sounds like this without... Wait one second. So some echo on it. Uh, one eighth on the delay, a little bit of reverb on it. Then some compression. And the isotope alloy, what was it for? Okay, I need to find my... <laughs> There we go. Ah, there, that was for the for the um, for the saturation here this comes later in the track and um, together with it with the kick that's how I like it and then And the good stuff is if you put the um, saturation after the delay, you also get the, the delay saturated, which I like. All right, then um, what do we have here? Two hi-hats. Actually sounds a little bit like we did it back in the days, you know, like two different hi-hats, one left, one right. And they kind of they just bring this kind of wh wibbling sound you know and then I have a right which I didn't put in yet you can also hear it's not mixed yet properly it's all like very at least it sounds I oh yeah, by the way um, for you guys if you want to invest some money in good headphones and I really mean it It's about 170 euros for these Bose Quiet Comfort. That's what I use for working on the road, and I love it. I also use it now here because I know them so well right now. But I also can hear that this track is not mixed yet. No, Thomas is not at home yet. He's still in New Zealand. Uh, <laughs> Never got afraid of everything being flooded. Uh, the good thing is, it is the river spray, and the river spray is um, like the the level of the, the water level is um, controlled outside the city. So even if we have heavy, heavy, heavy rainfalls, you get a rise of maybe 10 or 15 centimeters. And um, okay, the stream is abgebrochen. So, sorry, the stream broke down. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. Can you hear me again? Sometimes this happens because right now everybody is streaming these days. <laughs> Can you hear me again? So, should be working again. Yeah, right? Um, yeah, I just showed you the headphones, but I'm be, sh be sure I don't get any money for it. I'm just recommending it because I love them. I already bought two pairs of them and really used them. That's the reason why I'm... 
telling you. Um, so, yeah, as I just said, like everybody is streaming at the moment. So uh, we have these breakdowns quite often at the moment. As soon as everybody's on the road again, this will be more easy. So, um, yeah, that's what I can recommend. You get the Microtonic from Sonic Charge. Really great plugin. Let me just switch the screen here. So for the ones who just came in, Thomas is still in New Zealand. <laughs> um, yeah, we had the hi hats, the ride. Uh, I also did another. I also did another track here with the Microsonic. It's like the sonar sound. Yep, there we go. You can see the pattern here, and he changed the decay, the length of the sound. Then with some echo, the Ableton Live echo on it, auto filter to kind of cut the low frequencies to don't, don't have any trouble with other um, tracks in the song. Compression, another filter on it, so, same thing as with the low cut. And then, next thing I can recommend to you guys... Oh, turn again. And there we go. This is a uh, native instrument. Raum. Or as we Germans say, Raum. It is... Wait one second. I can really recommend this. I think they gave it out for free um, for Christmas. Uh, if you want to buy it, it's about 50 euros, which is a great investment because this reverb is amazing. You can freeze it. And play around with it. It's amazing. I love it. So it's easy investment, great reverb. And uh, yeah. So then we have what do we else have yeah i showed you this one here like this sample which is definitely uh the story of the track i don't know yet where, where what kind of direction this whole thing will develop but um yeah let's see then as a as a oh, okay turn around again sorry um uh, yuhi Repro, amazing synthesizer too, using it a lot. I told you before already. Uh, it's kind of what I call the rave synth in here. Um, wait one second, I need to open the... Oh, it's a little bit <laughs> difficult here. Tick, tick. Okay, let's do it like this. Very simple pattern, actually. I like simple patterns, especially in tracks like that. Just basically one uh, one note. And I think I have the sequencer on. Yeah, the sequencer is playing. So this just kind of underlines the... the uh, rest of the track basically the sonar sonar microtonic and it just goes up with the filter for certain situations in the track filter modulation and obviously some echo on it Because you guys were asking what kind of delays I like, delays or uh, echoes, this is really, this is the shit I have to say, definitely. Other delays I like, let me see, it's a little, uh, there is another one from Native Instruments, it's called, uh, let me just check it quick, Native Instruments folder. 
Replica XT. Amazing. Does an amazing job. Wait, let me just. Ah, look at that. Uh, maybe I keep it on it actually. Yep. You can actually keep that and delay on the echo. Perfect. I like that. So, but actually, this is just one idea I wanted to show you. I'm working on. And as I mentioned uh, on, when did we stream last time? Monday, I think. Was it Monday? I think Monday with Marcel Fengler. I mentioned that I would like to do a track together with you guys. Which headphones? You didn't hear it. These ones. In ears. From Bose Quiet Comfort. Cheaper than all the other stuff that is. Uh, recommended by others <laughs> um, what do you prefer playing clubs or festivals both uh, there is no either or nor it's like just both it's completely different you can't compare but um, um, what I wanted to say yeah, last time I said I want to do a track together with you guys so I'm going to show you another session uh, which is basically a studio session I started um, with Oli Nope, uh, with Oli some weeks ago actually, before Corona started. And um, we called it Little Fatty because uh, you can't see it right now. We have a Moog Little Fatty in here. and um, But it's not in there anymore actually. We did another track with it and we played around in this new idea. I'm going to show you now. So it's still in here. Wait, let me just switch screen. Yeah. It's still in here. Um, but right now we can actually kick it out because we don't play with it in here. So um, it's a more, I would say, moody track. And um, it has some kind of arpeggiator. Uh, arpeggiator Melodies in there, we have an A minor key. And um, I would like to get some vocals, lyrics on this track. And I already said last time. Uh, why is this stuck here? One second, please. Mm -hmm. Um, where was I now? Um, a little bit more moody session. I, know, I was asking about like doing something together with you, get some vocals from you guys, some lyrics. Maybe you have an idea what we could do there. And um, I, um, we have an email address where you can send, uh, and that's the only way you should please send it if you have an idea and if you want to send something uh, via a SoundCloud link, down downloadable. Um, so I will type in the email address right now. And, um, oh, where is the ad sign? Oh, shit. Wait. No. Hmm. Okay, I have to do it from here. Sorry. It's all too many screens, too many devices, too much shit. That's the opposite of minimalism. So whilst I was uh, thinking about this project with you guys, I had another idea of another project. <laughs> yeah, it's too much time for projects right now. Um, I was talking to Martin Ira, who, who was also a guest here last week, I think, who um, is my long, t long time friend and partner. He has the studio next door. And uh, he has an amazing studio, actually way more nice than my studio. A big old Amic mixer from the 80s, I think, or 90s, 80s, I think, 80s. Um, there was 
Pink Floyd was mixed on it and, and big, big, big famous bands. And he has a lot of outboard equipment, a lot of uh, hardware gear. And um, and um, we just talked about on the phone before that as soon as it is possible, we could do something like a studio session series. So we do it in one hour sessions but until we finish the track so first hour we start with the track second hour we continue we bring in some more elements and so on and so on and so on and you guys can be with us live and you can add your ideas and send us stuff and so on what do you think about that so if you like that thumbs up please because I need to know if it makes sense for you guys. If it doesn't make sense for you guys, it somehow doesn't make sense for myself and not for Martin. So, <laughs> And obviously, as soon as Thomas is finally back to Berlin, we will do this, uh, the three of us, as soon as we are allowed to and as soon as it makes sense to do it. Um, wait, there's a question. You are so talented. Do you need some musical schooling for this? for what I'm doing here now I don't need musical schooling or you don't need musical schooling because it's very it's not really about melody and harmony it's more about grooves and I think that's either you have it or you don't have it um, if I have requests for proper melodies I'm asking Oli or Henne or people who work here also in the studio complex Uh, sometimes I'm able to do it by myself. I actually learned, I was trained a classical piano and um, also sax, like tenor saxophone, um, but I didn't really like it too much. So, uh, but I still know the basic, basic harmony skills. <laughs> basic, very basic. Um, so, Um, shout out to the to our Irish fans. Shout out to all our fans out there. Obviously, uh, we are thinking about all you guys, and um, we can't wait to be back with you guys on the dance floor somewhere. And um, okay, so maybe let's. Okay, and one more question: How did you get into producing music? I learned uh, instruments, and then started DJing when I was 14, 15, like basic DJing and learned proper DJing with about 19, 20, started with uh, hip hop, then some house drum and bass. And then when I was 21, 22, I started with techno, 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 techno. And Thomas brought me into techno, like Richie Horton, Plastic Man, and... Um, Jeff Mills and all that stuff we all love to hear. <laughs> the masterclass is going to be available later. I don't know where you see a masterclass. <laughs> I just see a little talk here. But we're going to continue this if you guys are up for it. Um, we continue this in the future. I don't know how often. But first of all, as I said before, we're going to do something together if you guys are up for it. So let me type in an email address where you can send SoundCloud links with please only vocals, lyrics you record from yourself, please from yourself, like think about something, an idea you could um, you could um, think when you hear the track. Um, the question is if I have to put this track online so you can hear it again let's think about this but you can write the email address I try to answer your emails then so I type in the email address now and you can see it now wait muse for like this music and Okay, right. The chat writes it wrong, but it's music at pen-pot.net. The track is A minor, and we got a BPM uh, count on 132 right now. And um, I just play the track now before we keep on talking. And 
then you guys tell me what you think about it. Huh? Let's do it like that. Right on. As you can see, as you can hear, basic idea, but I think it's the right time to add something to it. And, um, you know, it's not too far produced yet, so it's uh, still quite open what's going to happen. So you can you can hear the, the, uh, the direction where I want to go with it. And uh, so what I want from you guys is some lyrics, some vocals, uh, either female, male, I don't care. It just has to sound great. It should be some positive spoken whispered whatever it is so if you guys have ideas please let me know maybe what do you think guys i should up upload it to soundcloud and uh, so you can hear it again i don't know you give it to me maybe i keep it running one more time you write something down and think about it and then send it to me and we will continue next week with that what do you think which software do I use for screen share? Uh, it's all running uh, via OBS, Open Broadcast System, and a Black Magic uh, Director's Box. I don't know what it's called, actually. The ARP pad is a massive, the new massive from Native Instruments, which, yeah, it's amazing. Can you see my studio setup short? The problem is, no, not right now. As I said before, I will um, I will take a little video or for the next time we're going to install a, video, a camera that kind of shoots the whole studio so I can show you around because right now it's all fixed and if I move the computer where I'm just here, this one, um, because this computer is also streaming and I can't move it around because it's full of cables right now. Uh, mix and master your own tracks. Definitely not mastering. We have a master engineer. Uh, it's Brian Zanhashi from Calix. And um, mixing most of it, yes, sometimes. If it's about some more complicated stuff, um, we um, have our guys here in the studio complex. Vocals of Green Velvet, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, we should talk about that. Um, the Confronted 
Pampered Basement Remix Project open? No, that's our project. We will not open that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Imagine you work with no gravity, you and me in another galaxy. Fl I, I think I know that, Lyric. <laughs> Um, so guys, pl please don't write all your <laughs> lyric ideas into the chat because I will not be able to read them all first of all and I will not be able to type it down. All. Just if you are up for it, if you think you have a great voice, lady or gentleman, I don't care, depends on how it sounds later on, just record yourself and you can easily do this also, uh, wait, just with a voice recorder on your phone it's nothing too problematic you can just record it like this just take care it's not clipping and then upload it onto a soundcloud um, profile i hope you got one of these or if you don't have sign up and then you send the soundcloud link to the email address i will type it in one more time I don't know yet if this is the best way to do this project, but you know, we have to try anyways. So it's music at pen minus pot dot net. Um, depending on the language, you guys, I mean, English is most easy for everybody, but if you have a uh, what's going on here, Fila? Nicht genügend. One second, please, guys. Streaming at the moment is not so easy. So, oh. um, uh, vocals without effects, please. No pitching, no compression, no um, EQing. I mean, you can EQ it, but only low cut, like low, low, low cut. And um, <laughs> and um, yeah, the language, English would be most easy. If you have an amazing idea for German vocals would be cool too. Um, if there's something, well, you know, send me something. I'm, I'm curious to listen. Um, vocoded stuff. If you have something, you know, if it's a good idea, why not? Send it over. The most important is I, I really would like to hear and understand <laughs> what you guys are saying before I use it in a track. That would be great. Um, you know what? I think it's not necessary to upload the track on um, SoundCloud because you can still watch this session again and listen to the track. And I will play it one more time in the end so you can listen and listen and listen over again. Where is Thomas? Thomas is still in New Zealand, guys. <laughs> um, one more time. Next DJ streaming tomorrow, Friday, 5 p.m. Central European time. And it's only myself for about three or four hours. I don't know yet. And the um, crazy thing is, I actually have the feeling I'm working more than ever and I'm getting into more and more new stuff than ever because I have a new DJ setup also here from Denon. I've never played before live on it. And uh, this is going to be very exciting. So uh, I already excuse myself now. And I hope you guys are patient with me tomorrow because it's going to be very uh, new and very exciting um, so ja, gebt mal eure Stimme ölen ne? ich würde sagen uh, I would say, sorry, I skipped to German uh, I play the track one more time you listen to it, if you want to listen again just uh, click in the on demand file on YouTube, it's going to be online after this session and then um, I will announce the next studio uh, production session early enough. I'm looking forward to listen and uh, yeah, to listen to your ideas. 
and uh, I hope this is gonna work out. It's, um, I don't know yet. Let's see how I find the Arturia series. I like it, um, but I don't have it on my travel computer, so I don't use it a lot actually. So here's the track again. You guys stay safe. You guys take care. And hey, Leo is here too. But you just came in now. It's almost over, man. But I see you tomorrow again, hopefully at 5 p.m. Central European time for another DJ set. And um, again, guys, um, if you have a good singing voice, sing me something. But it should be fitting to a techno track, you know, not too, not too melodic. More kind of, I mean, like the lyrics should be positive. Please, positive. Let's do something cool, positive. And um, please surprise me. I need something to work on, to work with for this track. So I play it more and more time. I see you guys tomorrow at 5 p.m. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of each other. And um, my thoughts to everybody who's involved uh, and in a shitty situation right now. But we will get over it somehow, guys. Let's stay strong. All right? Guys, have a nice evening. Love you. And Thomas is still in New Zealand. Bye. Good night. <laughs>